Growing up, I was a big fan of uh, Ron Cricky and all the whole Cricky clan. Um, Dad used to pick crew for Ron many years ago, and uh, going down to Bunbury Speedway, sitting on Dad's lap, it was just an extraordinary uh, feeling to feel them cars all coming to turn one at the same time, and uh, it's something I'll never forget. I dreamed for a long time. <laughs> Dreaming was a big part of it. Um, no, it was. I was 30 before I started racing and it was something I always wanted to do, inspired to do and never really had the funds to, to do how I wanted to do it. Um, but um, you know, business has become really successful and I thought before I uh, turned 30 I better get in one of these things and uh, Ben Element actually invited me down to a drive day and I got in the car and I thought well this is it, I'm finally here, I'm finally in one and no gloves, just a, a crappy old helmet and a crappy old race suit and uh, I got in there and I actually flicked that switch and the first thing started up for the first time it, um, and the whole thing just rattled and from the lights shining down I was like this is life you know and I was so excited and I got out and I think the first phone call I made was to my dad and I said dad we're gonna, we're gonna get one of these things. We did a fair bit of practice but the first time I actually really stuck it at Quinana and drove it hard into the corner and come out the other end was, was amazing. I guess it was someone like holding you on the end of a rope and slingshotting you. It's just amazing just thinking that is this car actually going to turn and uh, and the brakes and the wings on these cars are, are amazing and, and they're designed to drive flat out. The first time I really felt the big effects of a race car and you know, I was racing for Luch Monty and I jumped in that car in a, re a race meet in Bunbury. Now Luch Monty ain't the fittest bloke in the world and uh, by the time we finished uh, that race I come dead last. I'm not too sure I think Luch might have come in the top five. They rolled me into the pit and I couldn't move. I flat out couldn't move. I couldn't lift my arms, I couldn't lift my head. The workshop uh, was never intentionally become this way. Um, when we first started off, it was meant to be half race shop, half workshop as far as for PCB holdings, but the, uh, the racing grew pretty quickly. The way we do run our race car team is no different to the way we run our business. And um, I think if people can see us the professionalism that we run our race car team and if they can see that attention to detail um, they will see that in, our, in the way we carry out our works. Uh, my fitness background, um, I grew up uh, playing a lot of football. Um, I played for Swan Districts in South Fremantle growing up as a kid and I, um, I always loved doing the weights and I guess when I was a kid growing up I always idolised the, uh, the Hulk Hogan's and, the, and the, uh, the Macho Man Randy Savages and stuff like that so I guess when I got to my early 20s I decided to compete in bodybuilding and I won uh, Mr Western Australia a couple of years in a row and winning a, a novice Australian title over in Melbourne but again it was something that really didn't hold much of a future for me and the time I turned 24, 25 was something in the business was something that I really wanted to do. I believe the way the World Series is, is running their series is absolutely excellent. Um, you, you couldn't, you know, I mean, a year and a half ago, a lot of people were questioning the World Series brand, but what the job that the board have done um, to get the sport where it is now and the, the level of uh, guys um, applying to run World Series, um, you can't get much better than that. And again, uh, that's a credit to, uh, to Speedway Australia of what they're doing for the sport. Here in Western Australia, um, we have a great series, the SEG AHG series. Last year, we changed that format a little bit and added the chase. So the sport in general, I think, I believe, is, is heading in the right direction. The place is amazing. I mean, the Motorplex is, is definitely the home track of Flex Motorsport. And, and the job that they, these guys do down there on a weekly basis and, and how many events they run there per year and, and the level of professionalism that they do it at is, is unbelievable. Um, and there aren't too many racetracks in Australia that make money and I know Gav and his team put it on the line a lot with their advertising and everything that they do. As far as the, at the actual complex and, and the things that they do down there for the sport of Speedway, is amazing. I love the track. I love it when it's choppy, I love it when it's slick. I uh, don't like when it's too slick, but just, I'm not, it's not that good on the slick. Um, and I guess that comes with time. I love the track full stop, I mean there is, there's, especially when you're first starting off there is a bit of room for error, um, if you make those mistakes in other places you're probably not going to be so lucky, but again you know you go down there you've got the John Day Utes, um, you've got the great combinators down there and the, the, the actual show that the Motorplex present is, uh, is second to none. <laughs>